Hello guys, welcome to the latest episode of Every Platform and uh, welcome back to Cornwall. We're at Par, located on Cornish Mainline um, and today we're going to be on the Newquay branch, the Atlantic coastline and we're going to be visiting the, I think it's five stations that are on the line? Six stations on the line. So, almost got it right. Par we've already covered but obviously uh, this station is still got semaphore signals, although I do not believe that that will be the case forever. I know that Truro's is going, but I don't know if Pars is going, but yeah. So yeah, uh, being down here in Cornwall, it's really weird because I've not been down here in nearly two years and I literally live next door to it. But the fact is, is that this series, this area is so easy to do that I kind of don't, see it as an essential but kind of just had a, a free day to go out and do something so today is that day to film the Atlantic coastline so of course you'll be seeing only Great Western Railway our unit today is 15232 which is an FGW interior unit with a green livery it was the first one to be painted into green as well so that's pretty cool we've got that pretty much all day so that's the only unit you'll see but we have got a couple of bus services as well um, and also today's really a day of just seeing the stations and just seeing what everything's like around these little branch line stations that I've never actually been to so this will be interesting so if you just check out any updates and trips and posts check out my Facebook group also check out my Instagram at KTV Bids for story updates so without further ado let's begin today's episode of every platform here in par to do the Atlantic coastline enjoy right arriving now is the 0919 Great Western Railway service from Penzance to London Paddington at least get one main line train in before we go on the branch line. It is 802.109. See if we go out in a second. There goes 802109 heading off to London Paddington from Penzance. So that one gone, it's time to go on the branch line. 15232 is our train and we'll take that to Bugle for first stop today. It is a bit rainy today. So 15232 there, departing out, heading to Newquay from Par, and welcome to Bugle. This oh, there's a cat. Oh my God, it's the Bugle Station cat. I don't know if it actually is a station. No, I know, but we're going to call it that. Hello. Oh, very friendly. We'll talk about the station in a minute. I'm going to socialise with cats. So, the, the cat that's here at Bugle is literally just waiting at the bottom of the stairs there. It's been there for about nearly 10 minutes, 10 minutes just sat there. Bless him. Bless her, I think it's a girl. Um, so, one thing you've also noticed at Bugle, and we'll probably notice some of the other stations we go to today, is the yellow next train button. Should see if it works? Doesn't. Right, there we go. Oh, hang on. See if it works. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Please wait. I don't think it is, I think it's just saying please wait. Right, so this is Bugle Station, uh, serving Bugle in Cornwall, of course. Uh, this station, uh, 
So up to Goombarrow Junction, this is the nearest station to that and Goombarrow Junction basically on this branch line is where you pick up the token and drop it off when you're continuing on to Newquay. Um, I believe that the actual token drop off is either at Quintral Downs or it's at Newquay, it's at one of them, but I think it's at Quintral Downs. Um, so then the train goes into Newquay and picks it up again when it gets back into Quintral Downs, I think that's what it is. Um, but we'll talk about that later. Um, this station also used to have double track. It used to be double tracked up until the 1930s when the actual line eastwards to Goombarra Junction became single track and hence the poor service on here now. Now the general service pattern on the Atlantic coastline is about one train every two to three hours. And the reason for this is because, and if I remember correctly, it is because uh, there are literally no passing loops. Uh, the whole line is single track to par. Uh, the only passing loops really are at the junction, so Goombaro and St Blazy. And then after that, it's single track all the way. So I think there's not a passing near Quintral Downs, is there? No, so it's all single track beyond to Newquay. Um, so yes. Uh, also, to introduce him in the video, Adam's here. You haven't seen him in a video for a while. Um, so... Uh, yeah, Adam sort of generally does his own thing now, don't you? You're a gala man. Yeah. Goes to his galas, goes on his rail tours. Yep. But I was local today and he was around, so... Or he's watching Argyle, he's watching Plymouth Argyle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When they lose. Sorry. Anyway, so... Um, yeah. That is Bugle Station. Uh, it is a request stop, so anyone who needs the train needs to stick their arm out or basically request a guard when you're on the train to say you want to get off. Or put your arm out to say that you want to um, get on the train when it approaches. It will always approach slowly anyway. So yeah, that is Bugle Station. Uh, we'll update you when our train arrives um, and go from there. Okay, arriving is 152.32. Which we're now going to take to the next stop of Luxillian. And we'll update you when we get there. Right, we now reached Luxillian Station, and the partner now is 152.32. Heading off to Par from Newquay. That one goes. Welcome to uh, Luxillian Station. This one is literally a station completely stone paved, which is a stone, well, yeah, it's a stone paved platform. It looks also looks pretty unfinished. Well, there's the housing estate around here. It looks like it's having a lot of work done. Uh, this station in Cornwall is basically Cornwall, well, it's the middle of nowhere station on this line, I think. There's not much around it. Uh, we're going to get a couple of buses around. Get some footage of that. Uh, the 31 to Mount Charles and then the 26 to Roach, which is our plan. Um, but obviously, before we do, um, we'll talk about this station. Um, the station is also near to a very nice uh, cycle and walking trail called the Luxillian Valley, which, uh, you know, in bare weather conditions, it's probably really nice to walk down. It's also GWR sponsored. So it's a walking route from Luxillian Station. This little billboard here will tell you about it. It's good for bird watching as well. Um, I have heard of it before actually. Um, so yeah, that is, it is part of it. And it's also part of the Devon and Cornwall Rail Partnership because this entire line is community sponsored, which is really cool. So yeah, and the shelter is an absolute state as I expected. Uh, yeah. Also, funnily enough, there's a HST stop here. If we walk up here, there is a stop marker for a 2 plus 4. Because, and uh, this is no joke, Adam will confirm it as well, a HST has done this yeah, and done all the stops. There have been occasions when 150s have failed and they've had to shove castle sets on instead. And they've done all stops, haven't they? Yeah. So, yeah. 
back in back a few years ago it would have been a two plus eight and it would have just gone non-stop to Newquay from par on from london paddington although they still run those services they are now operated of course by iet's so and they will never stop at these so yeah i'll update you with some facts in a minute okay so sorry about the wet weather on the camera because it is it's pretty poor weather today but uh this station is uh another request stop on the atlantic coastline uh it is the first station you also reach when you leave par to go towards newquay uh it's a single platform um which has just a shelter and seats as you can see um basically the there's a small lane that leads out to the village's main road which is not actually interlinked with the station um so yeah that's just basic facts um and also has the help point but um this is also the only station you can go to if you like freight watching this is the only place on this branch line you can go to to see the china clay obviously you can see it on the main line as well um but this if you want a branch line shot this is the only place to see it because after this it will go into goon barrow and it will go there that's where the china clay runs to so this is the only branch line station you can see that at uh station opened uh by the cornwall minerals railway on the 8th in 1874 um and it, instead of passing beneath the sorry it used to run from foy to newquay it bypassed the incline instead of passing beneath the treffery viaduct and entering luxillian through the luxillian tunnel um so yeah it used to be basically it used to run from foy which doesn't have a railway station anymore it's just freight and um used to run sort of from there to newquay and used to cut through another line which like i say went through the luxillian tunnel which is now defunct i believe could be wrong but i think it's defunct um i didn't remember seeing a tunnel on the left pass so i'm quite certain of that um it'd be a bit crazy if it was still operating where the hell would it go um but yeah that's luxillian um, we're now going to head off to Roach by a bus. A couple of bus footage coming now, bus clips I should say, coming now, and we'll date you soon. Right, we'll carry on board a uh, Sadie's Ben Sprinter. Now is the 1147 Great Western Railway Service 2 Cardiff Central 800.009. We're going to take this back to Par. Then we're going to connect up with the Newquay train again because Luxillian, we didn't want to wait there for absolutely ages and there was a way out. So there we go. I'll update you when we get to Par. Right, back at Par again 800.009. We're going to be taking uh, 15232 to the next stop we're going to, which is St. Cullum Road. Double O Nine. We'll head off to Cardiff Central from Penzance. Uh, yeah, we did take that uh, I City from Luxillian back to St Austell because um, it was pretty close by. St Austell wasn't that far away from Luxillian, so by train it's a bit awkward, but by road it's pretty easy to get St Austell from from Newquay as well. Like Newquay's really close, to, well, fairly close to St Austell, so. Yeah, anyway, 15232 has got its engine off at the moment. It will be forming the 1212 to Newquay, which we're taking to St. Cullum Road. Um, but yeah, going well so far. We were meant to get another bus to Roach, but we kind of 
uh, realised that we probably wouldn't make it in time, it would be quite tight, so we just decided to go back to Roach later as planned and go to St Cullum Road, back on the plan now. So we were going to pick this train up at Luxillian anyway, but we're just going to go from here instead, I'll update you soon. Right, we've now reached St Cullum Road. And 152.32 of course. So here we are. Uh, found another HST stop marker as well, just up here. I guess they have, like we said in the uh, in the clip at Luxillian, that it's just because the HSTs can do it if a 150 fails. So here we are at another single platform station, St. Cullum Road, serving the village of St. Cullum Major. Uh, so yeah, it's a it's an interesting state. It didn't actually used to be called St. Cullum Road either. I think it used to be called something else, but I've got the name of that as well. But I'll obviously get the facts up in a minute. Um, but yeah, we're sort of nearer to the Newquay side of the branch line now. Haven't reached Newquay just yet, but we will do, um, as you can tell. But we're, uh, St. Cullum Road is pretty much on the outskirts of Newquay, so it's not too far away. Um, Obviously, with most of these little village stations, I do like to see what the onward travel is, if it's pretty good. But from here, it's not too bad. Uh, you can link up with Truro. You can go to St. Austell, Newquay, of course, on the 21, 91 and 94. So, yeah, there's, and obviously there's a couple of, like, Wade Bridge is on there as well, which is, and Quintral Downs is too. So, yeah, some, and a couple of holiday parks are on there as well. Um, talk about the facts of the station in a minute, but this is St. Cullum Road. So, uh, this station uh, was known as Haloon, I think it's called, uh, but renamed St. Cullum Road uh, to reflect the existence of St. Cullum Major. Uh, it was 1878 it got renamed, so yeah, obviously it didn't last too long as Haloon. Um, the new name was adopted for the local settlement, which is St. Cullum Major. Um, the whole, uh, this station's just really, that's the only fact really, there's not much about this station, other than the fact it just seems like it's surrounded in the middle of nowhere, but, because obviously you've got the, the big farmland over it, it just seems to be absolutely nothing. Um, yeah, station, nice little one. Seems quite homely actually, because it seems like, I don't know, it just gives me that vibe. Anyway, right, we're going to bugger off. <laughs> I love saying it like that. Um, but we are going to go, and we're going to head off to um, Quintral Downs, the next stop. We're going to get a bus there, an actual bus this time. I'll date you soon. Right, we're now in Quintral Downs and departing out. Um, out now is the 21 to Newquay, our bus. Two four two O doing that one. Need two hundred MMC. And we're now here, literally right outside Quintral Down Station, which is handy. And uh, yeah, we'll update. Well, they so need to update you. It's literally right here. So uh, as you can tell, level crossing is here. Not going down yet because it's hard. There's not a train for ages, so <laughs> we've got a while yet. But there is the station, Quintral Downs, and uh, yeah, I'll update you in a minute. Right, so this station is Quintral Downs. Um, here's an interesting little sign. Apparently it's a wildflower area. So uh, please do not strim or spray this area. So yeah, if there's any like, gardeners or whatever, they'll come over here and uh, they're not allowed to do that. But why would you? It seems like it's someone else's land anyway, but who knows? Um, that's just what I think. The station is located basically right outside Newquay. 
Um, it is the last station you get to before you reach Newquay and it is also the only intermediate station between Parr and Newquay that isn't a request stop. Um, the reason for this is mainly because the level crossing can actually be activated. So essentially it's activated a little bit differently. So it gives the level crossing the opportunity to go down, be activated, to then allow the train to go uh, towards par. But it's only when they only pause at the station, coming back towards par, uh, so the level crossing can be activated. So essentially there are moments where Countryland isn't a stop on the way back and they'll just pause here instead, which is a bit odd because it's, an, it's a stop on the way to Newquay, but it's sometimes not a stop on the way back to Par. It's a bit random, really. I think now it's literally stopped there each time, but I could be wrong. I'm quite certain it's literally just a mandatory call anyway, but hey-ho. Um, station wasn't open until 1911. It was known as Quintral Downs Platform when it opened. Uh, by which time the line was part of the Great Western Railway. So this one was never really part of the Cornwall Minerals Railway. Um, the reason it was called Quintral Downs Platform, it was sort of a suffix for a staffed halt. Um, because it was, because there was a gated level crossing. So someone actually needed to be here to operate it. Because uh, obviously now it's, diff it's activated differently. But it used to be just a manual gate crossing. Uh, but it was automatic half barriers in 2003 and 4 so that period that, uh, that period was when uh, the level crossing actually got activated so yeah so that is Quintral Downs um, as you can see there's a big stop sign wait for white light and whistle before proceeding there's a few stations that are like that but Quintral Downs is one of them so uh, we're going to update you when our train arrives to take us to Newquay but we are actually only using Nuki to double back and go back to Roach. But we'll update you soon. Okay, after a bit of a wait at... There we go. After a bit... Bloody hell. So much rain. After a bit of wait, here is 152.32. Sorry about the hand and the way of the camera, but I need to clean off the lens. But here it is heading to Nuki. We're heading to Nuki on this one. Right, we're now here at uh, Newquay uh, station. So this is the terminus of the Atlantic coastline. This is uh, obviously the, <laughs> of course it stops here, it terminates here. Over here you can see the remnants of a second platform, which uh, appear to, well, there's always been talk about this platform being brought back into service, but it's never really come to fruition, to be honest with you. Uh, so this is the 1510 service uh, from Newquay to Par. Adam's going to take this and uh, head back to Par. I'm going to get off at Roach, the last station I need today. But uh, for now, we'll uh, update you soon. We have got another time here in Newquay, so if I run out of time here, I can always do it when I come back and have a look in a little bit later on. Right, so as we approach the entrance to Newquay, obviously this is a uh, with interesting design so this station obviously gets really really busy during boardmasters now boardmasters if you don't know it is a very very popular music festival that takes place at uh in new keys beach there's five of them so there's one of them i can't remember exactly which one because i've never been but um what we should know is uh yeah so what they do is they usually put extra trains on or or trains with more carriages to run down to Newquay and sometimes as well uh, usually usually they'll do it during sort of periods during the summer so when Great Western Railway runs from London Paddington to Newquay or cross country who also uh, used to run to Newquay they don't anymore though since the COVID timetable um, they have not run to Newquay it's only Great Western Railway from Paddington that do it now although it would be nice in the welcome edition to see cross country come back maybe but it would have been for the enthusiast side of it, it would have been a more welcome condition whilst the HSTs were still around, but now it's just Voyagers. Still be welcome condition, more service, isn't it? So, but uh, yeah. On a Sunday, this line is awful. It only gets three trains a day on a Sunday in each direction. Um, 
it's a really poor service on a Sunday and has always been the subject of talks to improve it but it's never quite happened so yeah what we're gonna do um, I'm gonna head back to Roach on this one then what I'm doing is I am actually coming back here so I will if there's any more facts and stuff I will do them when I get back to Newquay shortly but for now we're gonna get back on this and I'm gonna go to Roach we'll date you soon right we just made it to Roach station and the partner now is 15232 heading to par So Adam has left now, so for the first time in absolutely ages, it's just me here on an every platform video. But then again, it's good. Look at this little shelter. It's really nice. Uh, so this is Roach Station. One plan, request stop. It's the last one we need on the uh, line today. That is now the Atlantic Coast Line complete. We are going to go back to Newquay anyway. Um, so I will finish the video probably when we reach Newquay. It's very wet, it's been raining all day. Take you soon. Okay, so uh, Roach Station, bit of history to it. So, um, the whole line from Foy to Newquay, I want to correct it as well because at one point in the video, I did actually say at Luxillian that the Luxillian Tunnel and the Treffery Viaduct were defunct. They're not. So, the train from part of Newquay goes underneath that Treffery Viaduct and into the Luxillian Tunnel. So, it's just that the line used to carry on from Foy. That's the only difference. Um, nowadays, it's obviously that bit to four years defunct, but those areas, I mean, we went under the Treffy Viaduct. It looked it's a massive viaduct. It's really, really big. But I just wanted to clear that up and correct it before anyone comments and says that I missed that bit out or I got it wrong because I did double check. I wanted to fact check what I basically said uh, just to be absolutely certain. Uh, anyway, so. In 1876, a passenger service was introduced. Uh, there was a depot here. It was called, um, it was renamed Victoria, um, but it gave its name to the modern hamlet on the site, which was called Victoria. And then it changed to Roach in 1904. So there was a depot here called Victoria. And then in the 1900s changed its name to Roach. Um, there was a passing loop here because in the 1930s, there was also a lot of holiday trains that came here. Standard Newquay in Cornwall, of course there were holiday trains, but especially in the period before the Second World War, that happened a lot in not just down here, but pretty much any coastal place you see now probably had that history at that point in time. So, yes. Um, and yeah, in 1965, that particular passing loop was closed so yes um, the other thing is that I didn't actually mention this is that there's actually a community ale train on this line basically there's sponsored pubs and uh, they call it the ale trail where you could probably just go into each pub and have a pint roach is part of that ale trail and whether or not it still exists it's called a Victoria Inn but I don't know if it still exists uh, Bugle had one called the Bugle Inn as well. So, yes, I did forget, forget to mention that. And Newquay has three pubs that are part of it. So, and I think, yeah, I think that's it. I think St. Cullen might have one too. I don't think it does. But yeah, anyway. So, yeah, that is Roach Station and everything about it. As you can tell, this entire line has a great deal of history, especially with the Cornwall Minerals Railway. So much was operated in the very, very early, well, very, very late 20th century. 19th century, 19th century. Sorry, I kept thinking of 1900s for some weird reason. 19th century, which is the late 1800s. So the late 19th century is when things, uh, yeah, when this line opened basically and things started to get working. But yeah. Right, anyway, I'll stop waffling on. I just thought I'd give you the sort of conclusion to this line. We're now going to head to Newquay and conclude the video there. 
So another thing about Roach is that it's actually one of these stations where you do actually have to cross the track to get out. There's the platform. He's so much lower down when you're down here, aren't you? Really are. Look at this. You're not trespassing, obviously, because you are on the crossing, but uh, there are signs that are set along these branch line stations, which of course say, stop, look, listen, beware of trains. Basically, use the green cross code on the train tracks, railway tracks. Someone's going to correct me on that. But yeah, um, yeah, so that's kind of the way out. It's, it's one of those examples, really. There are a few, quite a few of those examples out in the UK. That's one of them. So we are uh, going to, I'm just going to go for a walk around Roach and have a look around. And uh, I'll come back when the train is due and uh, yeah, go from there. So I'll update you when the train arrives. Okay, arriving now is the 1633 service to New Cape from Par 15232. Which we're taking to back to Newquay now. I went for a walk around Roach. There's nothing there. It was literally just a service station outside. Near enough close to that. Update you when we get to Yuki. Right upon that now is the 1710 Great Western Railway Service 2 Par. See how long the platform is here at Newquay as well. It's like it stretches all the way down. It's a really, really long platform, as you can tell. It reason is is because obviously it handles express trains and pretty much every coach of an express train. Probably not a 10 car, but like maybe a nine car, certainly the eight car H the two plus eight HSTs. I believe all of it could fit, which is quite cool. But I think it's always really been like this because of all the holiday trains that used to come down here as well. Um, well, obviously a long time ago but the station hasn't really even had a platform extension because it's always just been a really long platform yeah. and this one here in particular as well excuse the camera um is is well it's a second platform that has always been proposed to be reopened as i said earlier so yeah so that is the atlantic coastline complete Another local trip done, another local branch line done, the Atlantic coastline done. Very happy. So thank you for watching today's episode of Every Platform from the Atlantic coastline, covering Luxulian, Bugle, Roach, St. Cullen Road, Quintral Downs and Newquay, as well as Par and St. Austell at one point. Uh, but uh, yeah, so the, the trip's been fantastic. I have really enjoyed it. If you have liked what you've seen, do like and subscribe and do leave any comments because I'll get back to them as and when I can. And any recommendations are, of course, welcomed. Um, thank you for watching. Again, it's been a very nice day. It's been very rainy. It has been not really a challenge, actually. It's been pretty smooth sailing throughout the whole thing. So I can't complain. It's been brilliant. Uh, so I'll see you in the next episode of Every Platform. But from me here at Newquay, it's... Bye-bye for now. Thanks for watching.